Hey everyone! I thought in this video we would uh, have a look on the inside of this. It's a jump start pack. Uh, complete with light and air compressor. Good thing to keep in the car, but uh, you can also get them really small jump start packs about that big now. So it just depends what you want. Anyway. I don't know if I'm going to revive this because the battery's not taking charge, so let's just take out all the screws. Got the warning on there. Run compressor only for 10 minutes at a time, continuously. Then leave off for 10 minutes for compressor to cool. If I was doing a lot of travelling by car, I probably would keep something like this in the boot. Just so I've got something there, you know, just in case. <laughs> Two more after this one. Three along the top, three along the bottom, one on either side. Literally self tappers going into the plastic. That's what they are. see why this one isn't charging can you <laughs> uh, good indication right there <laughs> so again that's not really uh, That's not salvageable. Well, I could if I really, really. Oh, hang on. This yes, is. Yes, it is. Uh, I just need to get these off. There's a nut and bolt under there, and I look. Oh, look like 8 mil nuts and bolts. Bear with me one second. Okay, it's back with a few extra tools. Cut this off. I'll put a new battery in here. I can uh, re shrink it, that's all. I'll put another bit of. You know, that's all it is, just a bit of heat shrink or something. I'm guessing then. This has been dropped at some point and it's broken the battery. Yeah, there we go. We got some nuts. And they do appear to be 8 mil. I'm gonna look in to see how much a battery like this is gonna cost. If it's gonna cost, you know, too much. And I won't bother fixing it. Because uh, I do believe you can pick up these jumper packs so I'm cheap enough. But uh, like I said, I'll have to look into it. Yeah, that one's obviously been um, dropped at some point. Out of the way now. Yeah, that's light as a feather. See? I'm still weighting up because of the lead and the plastic, but there's now no, no acid because it's all leaked out due to that hole. I've never quite seen one like this. Oh crap, 
I just threw that in the bin and I'm going to need it, aren't I? Oh, right, so basically on the back of this we've got all the, the air compressor gubbins, you know, we've got the motor that runs it and the little piston up here. And the hose, ooh, still got all the attachments as well. Yeah, it's like air bed attachments and a football attachment right there. Um, to it really, you know, that motor spins the piston and the piston moves back and forth, pumping air, switch, turn it on and off, it's a little, ah, that is, switch is actually connected to this main, this dinky, dinky little circuit board right here, what have we got? I know what these buttons are for. Right, so all of this is for the um, voltage meter on the front. I think it's voltage. Yeah, DC volts. So you know if your battery's charged or not. And you've got your light. This one is the switch for the light. So if I follow these wires, yep, one's going straight to the light, one's going to the circuit board. That one's the test button. And of course, on the circuit board, I'm not sure what's actually on them. Let's see if I just pop that off. I think there's only one screw holding it on there. Yeah. And I've got the charge socket and an LED, which I think is supposed to illuminate when it's charging. Is there another? Oh, there is another screw. One right in the middle there. Let's see that one. Right. Not put this back together yet. So, is it going to come off now? It is. So, what's on the other side? Literally just the LED, which probably, like I said, lights up to tell you it's charging. A diode, resistor, and the charge socket, and that is... That is literally it. There's nothing else on the circuit board. So, it was worth taking off, wasn't it? <laughs> right. Ah, I see why there's two screws, because they go either side of the charging socket. Get the meter wire out of the way. It goes in like that. Well, I've got a feeling this screwdriver's not magnetised. I've got to get in through all these wires. What I will do before I upload this video, I'll do some research and I'll put it in the description on what my final decision will be for this. But uh, I would actually like to get it going because it would be a useful piece of kit to have. Uh, I've just got to find a replacement battery. That's not going to cost the earth. Ah, it does close. But even if I had to scrap it, I would um, remove this compressor piece because I could make my own little 12 volt compressor with that. So that's actually what I would do with this if um, it's not feasible to get a battery for it. I will just, well I'll either just take these cables off because they're not going to be needed. Um, And just run this 
from a 12 volt DC supply. If I can find one hefty enough to run it, because the one I was using to charge it wasn't quite hefty enough. Because technically I've got the box here, but I'm not going to use it as I think. Oh, I forgot to mention it's got one of these on the side as well. A cigarette lighter socket on the side. Which could also prove to be quite handy. So yeah, anyway. I will go off and research. But, uh, there's not really a lot in one of these. A big battery, a tiny little circuit board, a light bulb for the torch light on it. A test button, which I'm guessing is what that resistor is for. A voltmeter and a push button switch to turn the light on and off. Switch for the compressors on the back here, along with a gauge. So, quite simple these things, aren't they? And yet, these modern newfangled small jumper packs you can get have a lot more electronics in them. I've seen people on YouTube take them apart. <laughs> and they've got a lot more, you know, electronics, but I suppose they need it. Anyway, I hope you found the video interesting. Like I said, I'll put my decision down in the description below. And uh, I guess I'll talk to you all in the next video when I decide to open something else up. I haven't decided what it's going to be yet. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.